Welcome to the Blessed Home Decor Ideas channel. Thank you for checking us out and to those who are returning, thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. We love and appreciate you all. In today's video, we have some amazing ideal spaces that will dazzle you with their charm. From the eclectic to the contemporary and from mid-century modern to industrial. All these ideas will guide and help you decide and be creative with your home decorations. Turn your house into a beautiful home, whether it's your living room, bedroom, bathroom, dining room, or your kitchen. These beautiful decor and design ideas of different spaces in your home will spark creativity and motivate you to decorate and design your space. With various furniture decorations and accessories to choose from, it's never easy to know what to choose for your home. With different preferences and aesthetics, people choose different options to turn their houses into beautiful spaces to make them feel at home. Before you start designing, measure the length and the width of each room you intend to decorate along with the ceiling height. It's also a good idea to measure window openings along with the wall space below, above and to the sides of each one to get ready for window coverings such as curtains. A mistake most people make is buying things that are the wrong size. Sofas that don't fit in the room, sofas that don't fit through doorways, tables that are too small, desks that are too big, nightstands that hang into the doorway. So carefully measuring your space can help avoid such problems. Depending on your house, different houses accommodate different types of furniture better than the others. However, there are specific accessories that are needed in different rooms for different purposes. Furniture is by far the most important category for all rooms in your home. Furniture takes up most space in the home and it's the first thing noticed when someone comes in the house. They are the largest pieces and the most expensive items you will buy for the home. So ensuring that they are comfortable and beautiful is essential. Furthermore, everything you buy after revolves around the furniture pieces to make sure the house is stylish and well put together. When choosing furniture, make sure you choose furniture that is functional and comfortable. For example, if you have a large family, you can opt for furniture that is able to fit your large family. A sectional couch might be a good option for your home if you are going to be a less formal space, if you are a bachelor living a smaller apartment or a small family, a smaller solid couch might be sensible. Seat height is also important. Sofas and lounge chairs in the same room should have seats that are at similar heights to avoid some people sitting much higher than others. In general, lower seats offer a casual laid back feel and higher seats come off as more formal. Keep in mind that the number of dining chairs should roughly match the number of spaces for lounging. There are many things to put into consideration when decorating and designing your home. 
A home with children and pets might have slightly different decorations to a home without kids. For example, maintenance and cleaning requirements. Choosing a style that's long lasting and will not go out of style easily is also important. Since furniture is expensive, choose something that is long lasting and will stick around for some years or even something that is easy to switch up but suits your home. Don't get too stuck up in the latest trends as those go out of style so fast. Choose pieces that you are sure you can build a stylish and functional space around. Furniture is important but it's not everything. Choosing the right accessories for your space is also important and can take your home to the next level. Accessories can add a huge amount of style and functionality without breaking the bank. Accessories like rugs, plants, curtains, candles, throws, picture accents, pillows, wall art, all add a cozy feel and a nice ambiance to your home. They help make the home feel warm and inviting. Find those that match the design scheme of your home. Consider hanging some family photos to add a personal touch and add to the warmth and welcoming feel and to also make it feel like it's your own space. A living room or bedroom with hardwood floors but not rugs looks naked. For visual and literal comfort, add a rug to elevate the space and make sure the rug extends about halfway or fully under the furniture as its edges to make the place look nicely decorated and beautifully put together. Colorful throw pillows add a liveliness to the room which features subtle pale grey green walls and neutral fabrics. Artwork placed across a mirror balances out the opposite side of the room and allows the artwork to be seen. If you've decided to keep your walls neutral or white but still fancy a splash of color, then choose accent colors to boost interest. It's a way to incorporate a shade you love and you can go all out with patterns too. However, note that paint colors sometimes appear different in different light conditions. This effect is only amplified once you slather it on four walls. For that reason, it's never a good idea to commit to a paint color when you first see the chip in a store. Better yet, paint large sample patches on walls or on boards that can be moved around and view them at different times of the day. Botanical artworks complement the textiles and add to the country feel. Clean white walls and white pieces such as the lamp and side tables ensure the space feels modern, light and airy, useful if you're looking for small living room ideas. To get away with a small space, use monochromatic palettes. It's one trick to keep your home space from feeling cold and stuck. Adding beautiful greenery enlivens the space with color. Natural wood and wicker accents add a dash of cozy rustic style. You do not need a lot of stuff to make an elegant statement. Furnishings and decorative accents in a mix of luxurious materials and chic colors elevate things. Make sure to also add potted plants as they bring out balance, beauty and character. If you're working with a small open floor plan, creating a little separation between your different living areas is an efficient way to maximize square footage. Open floor plan spaces have endless and abundance of natural light. The illusion of more space and the convenience that comes along with entertaining. Create visual continuity in the space through color, creating a coherent space, repeating colors and patterns brings out a beautiful space and makes everything look seamlessly gorgeous. Furthermore, when it comes to small spaces, clever design tips can help you configure your living room in a way that tricks your eye into feeling like it's plenty spacious. 
When you're approaching how to decorate a small living room, start with the most important item, the sofa. This can make or break the space. And all too often, people choose one that's too large for the room. Oversized options can sometimes make a room feel darker. A small profile is important. Your sofa should feel visually light in the room. You don't want it to be too chunky. If your home is feeling a little uninspiring or stale but doesn't necessarily need a full redesign, there are plenty of easy ways to transform your space without spending too much time or money. And it can be as simple as moving some furniture around to change the layout, such as adding a rug, plants, accent lighting, new paint, modern accessories, or even just swapping out seasonal decor to give your home a new, fresh look. Mixing different styles is also a great way to personalize your home and avoid feeling like you're living in a staged home. Another way to create a beautiful space is to consider taking a minimalistic approach to your home design. Once you've decluttered and rid the space of unnecessary pieces, remove some of the excessive decor items to make the space look more airy and beautiful. Don't forget to add some shelves to maximize on space. Use a mix of open shelving and cabinet styles to create a display unit that is flexible enough to hide the things you don't want on show. Also, remember adding vibrant cushions is a simple and inexpensive way to inject a bold hit of color into a neutral home. Start with the soft base colors for your sofa or bed and then try mixing in and laying it with bold cushions. This makes a statement and leaves your home cute. However, for a more reserved approach, then opt for a softer neutral color. When styling using wallpaper, remember that every wall doesn't need to be covered. Choose one accent wall to stand out and opt for removable peel and stick brands in case you want to change it out. Try to incorporate antiques that you have as a starting point for a living room scheme. Mix the old and the new to ensure that a room won't be overly influenced by current trends and date quickly. While statement pops of color and pattern combined with natural materials will really bring it to life with a feel of modernity. Finally, remember that decorating should be fun. 
By starting out with a plan and following the same steps used by the pros, you'll make the experience significantly less stressful and hopefully you'll end up with the ultimate prize, the home of your dreams. Redesign or create a new space for your home and make it feel amazing. We hope you have enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Like, share and comment. Stay blessed. We love you all.